Michigan played Maryland. They won 34-27. Michigan struggled early. They were behind going in. Looked like they were about to lose or be down going into the first half. And then Blake Corum on a fourth and one broke a 30-yard run to give them the lead. And then after that, Michigan kind of took control. They were able to – when Maryland scored, they were always – two scores behind Michigan. It never felt in the second half Michigan was ever out of control that game. It felt like they controlled that the whole game. At one point, I felt like in the second half, right before Tua, or not Tua, Tua's brother went out with the shoulder injury or whatever it was for a play or something. He left for like the end of that series. I felt they might take a lead again right there. But after that, they had no they had no offense after that. Like, I don't think it, I don't think it was he was hurt, but they just did not have the mojo they had going on that drive at the after that the rest of the game yeah what well, he uh he he came back it was it was a third and long and then they he tried to they tried to yeah. they tried to screen and michigan stopped like shut it down where they covered it really well and then he came back for another series and they actually i believe they scored because michigan scored after that and then he came in for one more series scored but then i think it was like it was it was a back injury or something, and he couldn't yeah, go. And, was, the, and, the, and then the backup played okay. He let him on two scoring drives. But they really? Okay. Yeah, and uh, J.J. probably – this is where he really kind of showed some of his lack of playing. He kind of holds onto the ball a little bit too, too long, scrambles a little bit more than he should, has to learn. Throwing the ball away isn't a bad play. Living to see another down isn't a bad play. Mm-hmm. Uh, just the learning things you're going to go through with a young quarterback. Blake, they were led by Blake Corum, 30 rushes, 243 yards, two touchdowns. I don't like him having 30 carries in a Maryland game, but they are very thin at running back. Donovan Edwards is still out. We'll see if he's back against Iowa, which we'll get into later on the show. But the other part too is, is the defense in the first half was not able to get pressure on Maryland at all, where Tagovailoa had all sorts of time to throw, and the score reflected that. And then in the second half, they made the right adjustments. They were able to get pressure on them. They were forced three turnovers. And they just got to keep improving on that pass rush. And it's that's not going to be what they had last year. It's just not when you have two first-rounders. But Mm -hmm. it's going to be a collective team effort. If they can keep improving, which I think they have, because I think